Hello, and welcome to Mr. G Man, sir. And today, I am playing, I don't know if I should say playing more or just playing a new game, because I'm playing the sequel to Corpus Party, called Corpus Party Book of Shadows. And the reason that I'm starting off with the main menu and starting off on this thing that says you want to wish to search for the Corpus Party data or whatever, is because after uh, I click this, it'll go to the it won't bring me to a menu screen. It'll go straight into the game. Or straight into some sort of uh, cutscene or whatever that I can't skip. And it's also Japanese voice. And I can't, because I can't get into the settings to turn it off yet. So, uh, I'll just let it play off and, you know, the cutscene and everything. I don't know how fast you have to read because I know I can't skip the text. It skips on its own. And so I'm just going to let it play off. Just me be silent and everything. And before I just get into it, I want to say this. This game, I believe, is a visual novel. I'm not exactly sure how well a visual novel will do if it's entertaining or anything. I've said this before in my older videos if you've been here to listen to them. Well, anyways, uh, just tell me in the comments if you like uh, watching these, and I'll play more of them. So I'm just going to do this one marathon, put these videos up, and see what the first reactions are. So I'm just going to search for some Corpse Party data, and it's cool how I've played Corpse Party on the same emulator, and so it searches for the data and actually finds it. That's actually pretty cool. And so I'm going to skip all these, and then once it comes to the cutscene, I'm going to be silent. I don't know when the cutscene starts, though, so I probably should start being silent right now, because I hear the music. But, but, but yeah, silent now. Yes. 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 あ、<笑> ここは気を強く持って娘さんはもっと辛いのです。今我々が見放してしまったら彼女を守ってあげられる人はいなくなる。私も可能な限りバックアップします。一緒に元気な直美ちゃんを取り戻しましょう。はい。ありがとうございます
あなたの友達のことあなたのクラスの聖子ちゃんっていつからいるのずっとあなたのクラスって野々谷周くんのうんそうだよねみんなとっても仲のいい素敵なクラスだって聞いてるよだけどねだけどどの子に聞いてもねどうせ信じてくれないくせに出てってよ<笑>出てって信じてないのに信じてるふりをして私のことおかしいと思ってるんでしょ<笑>ナオミ手を痛めるよやめてそんな子はいないよ気を気をしっかり持って気は確かよおかしいのはみんなよ落ち着きなさいうるさいなみんなどうかしてるんだ私が正しいんだナオミナオミお願い落ち着いて Well, I think that was it for the intro. That was one heck of an intro, right? Wow. Do, do you think I should just let the intro play? Uh, why not? While I talk about this, I might as well let the intro play. I never let the intro play on the other one. Well, that was one heck of an intro. Apparently, Naomi. As uh, I don't know, gone insane, or other people think she's gone insane because she thinks Seiko is real, even though that like, no one remembers her, and so she just sits in her room all day and just staring at that cell phone. And apparently, anyone who is forgotten about has a black box around her face, whatever they're like forgotten. And uh, yeah, wow. But I'm just gonna let the rest of this play. Why not? Well, that was the intro. In the intro, that was pretty amazing. I saw some new characters, and well, the background noise is actually the same. I see that they upgraded their uh, graphics budget a crap ton by the cutscene in the beginning that was amazing, and the the intro was just amazing looking. So I'm gonna go into the options. Yeah, and I'm going to see voice volume, turn voices off, message speed all, ending list. So there's seven chapters more than the other one. Uh, it seems like number five is the main one because it has the most endings, like bad endings and stuffs. And uh, yeah, name tag lists. 
Okay, so it actually has a list of name tags instead of like basically the name tags just being there in the first one. I don't even think there was any purpose of having them other than this like backstories. And the bonuses are just like extra chapters, I'm guessing. Yeah, unlock status. Oh, this is the I unlock this. I unlock this for having the uh, played corpse party, so I'm gonna look at it. Okay, yeah, so I get the uh, I get this one. Oh, this is this one the beginning. Uh, can I left? Nope, that brings up that. Okay, it's yeah. I got it now. Yeah, this is all from the CGs from the first corpse party. It's awesome. So nostalgic, even though I completed this game to, like yesterday. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Okay. What is this? Listen and create the conversations using any type of the game. But I don't know that. I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to, you know, eventually I will get to starting this game. Oh, so they actually have names for the chapters now. That's cool. I'm going to start chapter one. Seal. Ah, what lovely weather. I wonder how Ayumi's faring in school today. I hope she's enjoying herself. Hey, this is a new character. Hino. Or Hino. Up, oh, freaking skipped it. There's old sense of unease, too. The same one Ayumi and I have been feeling all our lives, but stronger than ever. I don't like it one bit. I can sense its present. It's gotten very, very close. But that's preposterous, right? I'm probably just imagining things. Maybe it would be best if I talked with her about it. I only hope nothing bad happens. I'm used to clicking X twice because I'm used to having to like skip it to make so so I can read it all the way and then skipping it, so that's why I skipped that one. Okay. This is Naomi. Flop. Mm. I threw down my bag, collapsed onto the bed, and stared up at the ceiling. These were my familiars. The familiar lighting, the familiar patterns I know so well, and the familiar stain in the corner. I remember when my dad made that stain. It was my fifth birthday and he just opened a can of soda I've been shaking. Staring up at the ceiling was something I'd done a million times before, but today it felt strange. Like I'd just come from doing the exact same thing. And I'm not talking the general act of lying in a bed and looking up, but in a more specific sense that I experienced in a singular moment and once before. I believe the term you're looking for is deja vu. Supposedly, deja vu signifies that a new destiny has been born within you. So congratulations, Nakashima. You may be a whole new person now. <laughs> so said the class rep, making light of the situation in her usual creepy way. But maybe she was right. I had been more cogn cognizant of my actions since then. Usually, if I pay too much attention to every little thing I do, I begin obsessing, and then I just give up myself a headache and end up calling it quits. But this deja vu was real, and it was far stronger than any th 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 than it would be. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill spooky feeling. It was all-encompassing. Holy crap! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Sick! You're here! No matter where you go in this house, it all smells just like you, Naomi. This... Is this heaven? <laughs> I swear, Seiko doesn't... Doesn't it like this... Happened once before? What has? You, sleeping over here. And then the next day, we're both like, Hey! Let's go clothes shopping. Don't you remember? <laughs> Surely you jest. Long have I sought to capture thee and infiltrate the walls of the holy temple. But today marked my first successful conquest. What does she talk about? Is she talking about what I think she's talking about? Mm, yeah, I guess that isn't the sort of thing I'd have forget quite easily, is it? Must be my imagination. Yeah! Finally, our flag has been planted! Seiko and Naomi together at last! Yeah, she was talking what I was talking about. 
This is actually in visual novel talk. Flags are usually what happens whenever you're in dating sims. You get a flag whenever you're getting closer to dating the person or something. I don't know why I know that. I think I've seen an anime or something where they talk about that. You bet. This is gonna be lots of fun. Um, but what's this all? What's all this about a flag? Oh, I think you know. He, he, he. Just like his back. I still can't get over that. And look at her face. It's so cute. And so began my first ever slumber party with Seiko. The moment fifth period ended that day, we tore right out of the school and loaded up on the junk food and drinks we could carry. Seiko and I had been friends forever, but neither of us had stayed at the other's house before, so we were both pretty excited this is going to be fun. Uh, Naomi, do you mind if I take a quick haul home? The kids know where I'll be, but I still should check since I didn't have a chance to swing by. Sure, go ahead. Do you need me to use the landline? Do you want to use the landline? The landline is open for your usage. N no, no. My cell phone is just fine. I just worry about a poor little you, you know? He'd be sad if I didn't at least call. No problem. You do your thing, and I'll take a quick bathroom break. <laughs> I exited the room, glanced behind me to see Seiko holding her cell phone to her hand with uh, to her head with one hand while flashing a peace sign with the other. The mere idea that there'd be a friend waiting for me in my room when I got back was just so exciting. Oh, the things we could start to talk that night. Where should we start? What story shall we tell? Mm, yeah. Okay, looks like Dad's going to be late coming home tomorrow. You so head your way after the festival cleanup and all the goodbyes. Then we can get ready for Dad's special surprise together, okay? Mm, yep. Give all my love to the others, and make sure you all tuck in night tight tonight, so you don't catch colds. Take care, you. Heh, they holding up okay? Sure are, which means I've got nothing to worry about. I can enjoy my time with the fullest. Sounds like you're ready to have some fun. And I bet you are too. <laughs> so, what should we talk about? Anything you'd like. I'm just glad to have this blissful opportunity. <laughs> I really can't say why I felt so shy and embarrassed. The two of us were always together, after all. Changing the setting from school to my personal space just seemed to bring us a lot closer. I found myself staring at Seiko's face as if studying it. Did she always look like that? This is someone who regretted me as a friend. All kinds of insane thoughts were swimming through my head, and for some reason, they were making me really nervous. Hey, you know what we've got? We've got that chocolate soda we brought. Wanna try it out? There's a chocolate soda? That sounds actually like... I'm not even sure how I feel about that. I mean, it's chocolate, but it's a drink. It's like, I don't know. I'm sure that would taste weird, like different. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really too big of a fan of chocolate. But I don't know if it would taste good. It sounds good, but then it tastes. Uh, I'm just gonna skip. Do I? Just try and stop me. I took out the bottle we purchased and poured its fizzy contents into two cups. It had the faintest tinge of chocolate color, but it was otherwise clear. As it hit the bottom of each cup, that familiar, comforting sizzle of carbonic acid rising from liquid echoed forth and mist in front of bubbles. Well, it's sure a pretty color, but what, what do we do with the rest of it? What, what do we do with it, it, what if it sucks? We can take it with us into school tomorrow and offer it to everyone. Make like we're being real nice, see? Ah! Deceivery. Hey, that's a good idea. Alright, here you go, Seiko. Thanks. Okay, let's drink it down the core of three. Count of three. I am screwing up talking a bunch. Sounds good. One, two, three. Oh. Dang, that's good. Before I knew it, we were up to our old tricks. Talking on and on like we'd always did at school. We smiled and laughed and felt joy all the time. Uh, uh, all the same thing, spending this time together. We could each forget all our troubles for a while. 
This is the kind of friend that comes along only once in a lifetime. I was starting to get really sentimental, and I had no idea why. I certainly couldn't admit it to her, though, or I'd never hear the end of it. I just kept thinking to myself, I really hope Seiko and I can be friends like this even into adulthood, for the rest of our lives even. Maybe it was the same weird sense of com that word one tends to feel during overnight field trips, I don't know. Mmm. 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 This Nakashima, this food is stupendous. Come on, Naomi, say ah. Um. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. You two are certainly close, aren't you? <laughs> I've heard so much about you, Shinohara, that I felt I simply had to meet you one of these days. Oh, Naomi's been talking about me, has she? Oh, all the time. During meals. You're always a hot topic around here. She never fails to have some story about where you two went or what you did. <laughs> so I've been accepted by the family then. My tears of joy overflow at the prospect. I must be red beat right now. Seiko? Oh, and it's not just you, Naomi. Naomi loves talking about that Satoshi Mochita boy. Whenever he comes up, she just gets so excited. I think she likes... Uh, Mom? Ikshneng on the Atoshne. Okay? Sorry, dear. Oh, don't worry. I know all about her feelings toward her beloved Mochita. Naomi may seem like a strong girl, but she's really quiet. Quite the shy one, I mean. Seiko, stop. Just stop. Well, you're certainly well informed. Let's we'll say you, you and I have a girl's night out sometime. I'll treat you to something good, and in return, you tell me everything you want to know about Naomi from the school. I, it would be an honor and a privilege, Miss Nakashima. Hey, come on now. <laughs> well then, have you two gotten sufficiently stuffed? I've drawn a bath, so you should head in while the water's still warm. I assume you'll be okay going together since you're both girls, no? Ooh. Dang straight, my flag is firmly planted now. The day is totally won. Huh? What are you talking about? Are we really going to bathe together? And seriously, what's all this flag misses about? Never mind that, just come on! Miss Nakashima, we're going to borrow your bathroom. Roger that, make sure you two get nice and warm. Seiko and I removed the lapels from our school uniforms on the way to the bathroom dressing area. I still felt a little uncomfortable, so I suggested we bathe separately after all. But Seiko just mumbled that the resistance is futile, and sat out taking my clothes off. <laughs> she took it! <laughs> well, you typical Seiko. With only a few swift moments, she had my whole out outer uniform stripped away in no time at all. Holy crap. This is getting kinky. She was a bona fide pro, a real expert on taking people's clothes off, disturbingly well practiced. <sighs> okay. Ah, hot, hot, hot. Oof, no kidding. The hot water at your house doesn't mess around. Yeah, Mom likes to run the world's hottest baths. I keep telling her that when, you, when you're soaking, lower temperatures are better. But she never listens. I always take my showers and baths. The hottest I can get them. I end up like starting off like near the hottest. And I just work my way to like screw it and just turn it all the way up and then burn myself at the end. Oh well. Ah! Achoo! What's this? Is your body feeling chilled? Well then, take this. Hooah! You're going to catch a cold if you're not careful. You got to be quicker at taking off your clothes, Naomi. <laughs> uh, didn't you take off your clothes? I'm not even sure. Uh, come on, don't be shy. Here, look this way. Seiko had such a dumb, self-satisfied expression on her face, and she scooped the water at the basin and dumped it all over her heads. I think you're unshy enough for the both of us. I mean, you're the one who tore off all my clothes and, like, they were paper. Mm-hmm. Well, I do bathe my little brothers every day, so I've gotten pretty good at speed stripping other people. <laughs> I guess that's one way to talk about it. Oh, wow. Speed stripping. Uh, okay. That makes sense, actually. Anyway, you need to loosen up. 
Let's take this opportunity to deepen our friendship. Yes, yes. You've thoroughly broken me out of my shell. Now how about I wash your back? Have a seat. Oh, oh yes, please. Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap, I was not expecting this. Whoa. I've added up a brand new silk towel with body soap and began washing Seiko's back, marveling at her perfect complexion. <laughs> oh wow. I never noticed before just what a classic beauty she was. <laughs> oh yeah, I've said it many times before, and I'm just gonna say it again. These two are complete Yuri together, even if Naomi doesn't know it or not. If she likes that Satoshi guy, she knows that she likes Seiko. I bought this special just for you. So I hope you're enjoying it. How does it feel? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's it. Right there. And that's when all language broke down and the sounds emanating from the bathroom began resembling strange, animalistic cries rather than human speech. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Pfft, cut it out. You sound demented. Urn. Just a little farther. Uh, uh, please. Here? Mm. Yeah, right there. Oh. <laughs> so weird to voice act for. I made you itchy, I bet. Alright, hold still. It didn't take long for Seiko's back to become completely enveloped in soap suds, but I could still detect a reaction to my every touch. Mmm. Mm. Hmm. Don't tell you. Don't tell me you're ticklish. <laughs> Guess the secret's out. I'm really, really ticklish. Well, in that case, it's a thorough washing you shall get. Gah. So you're on the offensive today, are you? Wait. Stop. Gah. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of my furious finger work. <sighs> Finger work. Okay. I was on, for sure, and nothing was going to stop me from giving Sika's back the full treatment. After all, homeroom today was spent setting up for culture festival, so we both got pretty dusty. A nice scrubbing is exactly what we both needed. Haha! <laughs> stop squirming! Hold still! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Man, Seiko, you're really slender. Your shoulder blades are incredible. Like a cat's. Are they? I can't really see them, so I wouldn't know. But for you, it's all about that sexy, sexy collarbone. What? You sound like an old foggy or something. Foggy? Foggy? I don't even know. I don't know that word at all. Give me a nah, I'm not gonna Google it, I'm just gonna skip it. I'll probably need to look it up whenever I'm editing, or if I have if I find this spot when I'm editing. But so beautiful. And so big. I um don't think that's my collarbone you should <laughs> oh. oh wow, just give me one second. This is much <laughs> Oh <geez>. And <laughs> Already, Seiko. Wow. Seiko can already make perverted comments on a normal occasion. Whatever you're naked in a bathroom together, this is just like prime ideas for Seiko to pop in her mind. <sighs> anyway, she's staring at her boobs. As I gazed at Seiko, staring at my chest with hungry eyes, I suddenly had another flash of deja vu. An uncomfortable one. My eyes drifted to her neck. There was some sort of mark there. A bruise that wrapped all the way around. Uh, don't tell me it's gonna get all depressing because she hung herself. Psycho, what happened to your neck? Did you scratch yourself or something? Mm, something there? It's pretty faint, but there's a red mark. Hmm. <laughs> don't remember injuring myself or anything. The bruise on your neck. Though slight look less spotty than you'd expect if it were made by human hands. It seemed more even like it came from my cloth. Probably a result of wearing her 
kimono cord tied around her neck all day for the red bean soup strand. Stand. What a shame to see her pure white skin so damaged. You two definitely like each other. I hope we heal soon. Whatever it is. N Naomi? Hmm? I can't hold back any longer. Don't tell me what you're gonna be doing. I, I can already expect what you're doing. I know what's gonna happen. What, what now? Huh? I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I, I caught it! Oh wow. I actually thought I was gonna grab boobs, but you know, this is kind of the same thing. I just gotta grab that butt. Yeah! Chase on! Ah, Psycho. Seriously, cool down, girl. I think you got totally mental on me. <laughs> I just can't help myself. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, we do have that spare futon. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I'm fine right where I am. Two people sharing a single bed would make for a warm night. But if either of us rolled over, the other was going to wind up clean on the floor. I offered the bed to her, and was perfectly willing to spend the night on a rollout futon. But she wouldn't have it. Well, as long as you don't feel too crowded, I guess this is fine. Uh-uh. It's all warm and cozy. I love it. If only I could kiss you like this, I'd die a happy woman. <laughs> oh, doesn't Naomi know these things? Doesn't she realize that Seiko was just like, I don't know. With that, she puckered her lips into a shape resembling a number three and looked at me with expectantly. Expectantly. What had gotten into her? No, we better not. Happy woman or no, I'd hate to see you die. Ah, uh, dang. Hoisted. <laughs> hmm? I was thinking. This is really fun. Huh? It was around that point when I had started to realize the truth about Seiko. After all, if an outsider were to witness her blatant act of harassment and my complete dismissal, dismissal of it, they'd assume we were m more than friends, too. <laughs> I'm assuming you're more than friends and you just don't know it. But it's not like I was actually in love with her. I really didn't feel that way at all. I just thought of her as a very dear friend and figured this closest we had was pretty normal. It seemed natural, in fact that our behavior would lead to a third party misunderstanding every now and again and I just have to set the record straight but honestly even when situations like that arose they were pretty fun in their own stage silly sort of way you know this is the first time I've ever had a fend over <laughs> this is the first sleepover too sure beats lying on a bed alone I'll tell you what <laughs> Ow. oh you okay I may have slapped you a little too hard in the back there. You should have put your hand... You, you, you put your back right into that slap, slugger. But you don't worry, I'm just fine. Siko is rubbing her face slightly where I struck her, but smiling from cheek to cheek. Sorry again. Hey, how about I come stay over at your place next time? What do you say? Oh, I say yes, yes! That way I can introduce you to my little ones. You're absolutely welcome anytime. Thanks. The moonlight crept its way in through the bedroom window, giving the whole room a dreamlike glow. Soon enough, I was beginning to nod off. Where was I? Was I dreaming? No. It was just my room. I could feel sick as warmth next to me. Or maybe I was somewhere else entirely, in this whole world. All my life's experiences were just one big dream. Man, it's hard to form a coherent thought when you're dead tired. <sighs> well, tomorrow's a big day. Let's get some sleep. You said it. From a sleepover right into a culture festival. We're true challengers. <sighs> Don't you dare oversleep. If you do, I'm pulling you, pulling back the blankets and putting an ice pack on your stomach. Oh, don't you worry about that. I'm such an early riser. I put middle-aged woman to shame. I'll hold you to that. Anyway, good night, Seiko. Good night. Wow, that was quick. 
Sika must have been exhausted. I could hear calm, telltale grunts and rhythmic breathing signifying that she was out loud. Out cold. And I was con and it was contagious. If I could read correctly, it would say that. I couldn't get over just how precious warmth her body was generating. The previous... Oh, crap. Wow, man. That's been spooking me. I thought someone was behind me. Wow. Oh. It sounds so real. I mean, like that little breathing in the back. That's by Seiko or whatever. It sounds so real. I, I literally took my headphones off, paused for a minute, and looked around. I was like, did someone creep in on me when I was making this video? But no. It's Seiko in the background sleeping. Oh, whatever. The previous night was so cold, but this was perfect. She was like a hot water bottle. Mmm. So warm. Mm-hmm. Whoa, you're awake. I can hear your voice even from the deepest sleep, Naomi. You've experienced that before during class, remember? Is that some kind of ESP or something? And wait, were you sleeping during class? That's not good. I sleep in class all the time. And you only get like three days. Hey, I have a question. Hmm. In the future, even after you get married, will you still spend time with me like this? What? Of course I will. Talk about a bolt from the blue. For true? For true. I mean, we're friends, you know. Through thick and thin, and always will be. <laughs> Thanks. Man, you're really a spaz sometimes, you know that? Seiko yanked the covers up over her head like some sort of girly anime heroine. If she really did think of me as more than a friend, how was I supposed to react? Naomi? Hmm? Let's always be together. <laughs> you bet. Good night, Seiko. Good night. Seiko and I seem to be thinking the same thing. We were both so happy, but there was another side to the coin. There was a certain awkwardness as well. It was a strange sensation. Soon enough, Seiko began moaning and breathing heavily for real. She had fallen fast asleep facing me, curled into a fetal position. As I lay there staring at her head, my hand moved of its own volition and began gently stroking her hair. Strangely, it didn't feel awkward or embarrassing at all. Perhaps because I knew she was asleep, it just felt natural. I slid my hand more toward her back and continued rubbing her head gently, like a mother with her child's. Hmm? Mm. What a lovely shape her head was. Perfectly round. I just kept stroking her hair, thinking about this and that. Hmm? Suddenly, she clung to me and buried her face in my chest. Hmm. Was she still half awake? Heh, <laughs> what a strange scene this was. But just for tonight, I was willing to let it slide. There, there, good girl, good girl. <laughs>